Great seeing you for devotions. As you know, we're talking about revival all week long. This last weekend, I was talking about the hope for America. I believe in my heart that the hope of America is that there's going to be a sweeping revival. I think I'm going to prophesy this ahead of time. I think some really bad stuff is going to come. I think it's going to be hard for average people to pay their bills. I think that there's uh, horrible things coming to us. But Jesus is coming. And before he comes, I believe that in God's church, there's going to be a great revival. People are going to be revived, getting fire for God again. Don't follow those sinful believers you see out there. And from the church, revival is going to take place. And we're going to see the lost saved. So what I want to look at today is this that we need revive because we have a lack of the concern for the lost. You know, my church, every year, Good Friday, we, we bring a lot of people to the Lord. I, to me, it's a lot, but there's so many unsaved people. But you know, most of the year, a lot of us aren't thinking about that. And I want you to be concerned about that. Look at uh, Jonah chapter 3. So here's Jonah. Uh, he was supposed to go war in Nineveh. These were horrible, awful people, fearful people. Jonah had a reason to be scared. He didn't want to go. He didn't want to see them become believers. So Harry, remember, he's swallowed by a whale, and the whale vomited him up on the shore. <laughs> and he promised God, I'll do what you told me to do. And after he did, remember, his whole body's like all burnt with acid from the stomach. He's like bleached white, and he comes out of the whale, out of the shore, and when he looks at the people, he starts screaming at them to repent. <laughs> scared everybody. But the Spirit of God worked through that, and people repented, and it got to the king. And the king there of Nineveh, he became convicted. And, and it was just an unbelievable story of a great revival of people coming to God. But Jonah was very upset. Now look what happens here. Jonah chapter 3, verse 10, after Nineveh repented, it says, when God saw what they did, that they repented, and how they turned from their evil ways. Now just so you know, when people get saved, they turn their back on their bad lifestyles within time. He relented. Meaning, he wasn't going to bring judgment on them. He did not bring on them the destruction he had threatened. God could change his mind. Did you know that? God can change his mind. God could bless America again before the rapture if America would come back to him. But look what happened here. In verse 9, Jonah 4, Jonah is really upset. Jonah is really depressed. I won't even, in fact, he, he didn't want to talk to me. He didn't want to talk to God. And, and he like laid under this gourd, this great big leafy gourd thing. And, and then God made the gourd die. And the sun was beating down on his head. And the Jonah was really depressed because the plant died because he liked the shade. And God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about the plant? Is it? Uh, he, he said, and, and Jonah says, I am so angry. I wish I were dead. I know some Christians like that. You, you got all mad. You got all mad because, you know, this one thing didn't work out in your life. You're, you're all mad because you didn't get that promotion. You didn't get that public recognition. You're, you've been like really ripped off in life because you didn't get this illness. You, you got to deal with this thing. It's not going to seemingly go away. And you're all mad and you're bad. Okay, but you don't care about lost people. You, some of you, some people listen to me. You've got children that do not know Jesus. You're not witnessing to them. Your parents, your friends. You have people who are lost and they are your friends and you hang out with them. I'm glad I'm not your friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am your friend. <laughs> but being a lost person, I wouldn't watch you as my friend. You don't witness to me. Listen. You, you got to care about the lost. You do. Listen, if you're not concerned about the lost, then I am concerned about you. If you're a Christian, you need revival, man. You need to be revived. Listen, what happens? Good Friday should be happening all the time. Look at Psalms 51:10. Oh God, create in me a clean heart. Oh God, renew a right spirit within me. Oh God, revive me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Bring me back to you. Here's your prayer today. Ready? I want you to pray this. Write this one down. Make my heart. Be moved by the things that move the heart of God. Pray for revival. Pray for the lost. Pray God gives you a burden for the lost. Do that today.